Hi guys! Hi guys! I wanted to talk to you about the title of today's video. Um, so basically, these are my last two weeks in Seattle, which makes me feel excited and a little, of course, nostalgic. It's a bittersweet feeling. I wanted to leave Seattle for a while, um, and I've lived here for the past four or five years. No, definitely four years. I moved here when I was 17 and I'm 21 now. So what's happening is my winter quarter, because at the University of Washington, it's a quarter system. And so my winter quarter from January through March, I'm going to be moving in with my boyfriend, my long-term boyfriend. We've been together for three and a half years and we've done long distance from Alaska to Washington, Pullman, Washington to Seattle, Washington. And now, right as of right now, it's been um, Vancouver, Washington to Seattle, Washington. Um, but I'm taking, I'm deferring a quarter at the University of Washington. So that basically means like, I'm still enrolled as a student, but I'm not going to be taking any classes and I'm instead going to work full time um, to pay for this trip that I'm going on in spring quarter. I will be re-enrolled as a University of Washington student and taking classes, but in Rome, Italy, and I'm really excited. I wanted to study abroad for like the whole time I've been in college and I hope all things permit um, that I we get to go on our study abroad program. Um, and so I won't be living in Seattle for six months, which is going to be kind of crazy. It'll be, um, I think it's going to be really exciting and nerve wracking, bittersweet. It's a lot of emotions. And I thought today I would bring you guys along with me. I wanted to go through some of the boroughs and districts in Seattle. And in particular, I think today I want to go explore <sighs> brain empty. I want to go explore Capitol Hill and International District. So I'll bring you guys along with me, go on a little day of my life, being around Seattle vlog, how fun. So yeah, I also just did a little TikTok unboxing from this brand Shop RL on Instagram. They're a bikini brand based in Atlanta, I believe. And they sent over the cutest stuff for me to wear in Italy in spring. And I just wanted to show you guys a quick peek. Like, okay, I set it on a blanket so I could take pretty pictures of it. But look at how, like, they really spoiled me. And I just feel very, very, like, lucky and blessed. But I got a brown bikini, a white linen suit, which will act for a perfect cover-up, um, a tote bag. And this is, I thought this was really cute, is their packaging. And this is the brand, by the way. Um, and I also got, this is my favorite print ever, I think. And then I love this one because it comes with the wrap skirt. So I just wanted to thank my friends at RL again. And I am so, so excited to shoot some content in this in freaking Italy. Okay, so I'm about to head out the door. Sorry about the messy room in the back. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day because I feel really cute. So let's start with the up close details. Um, my necklace is a little, there you go, there we go. Okay, so my gold necklaces are from Pepper Mayo, and my pearl necklace is from Urban Outfitters. My white long sleeve mock neck is from Princess Polly, and then this top, I actually thrifted it, and I really like the gold chain detail down here. Um, I think it makes it really unique. And then my black mini skirt is from Princess Polly, and my tights are from Target. My socks are from Target and my shoes are Doc Martens. And then I got the headband off Amazon. My glasses are Warby Parker and my jacket is from Cotton On. Oh, and I'm sporting the new tote that I got from my friends at RL. So, this is the finished fit. I do need to bring my tripod actually now that I remember. That is very important for today's activities. literally like right across the street from the light rail and this is 
In case you've never been, this is the International District. It's really cool because they have two different translations for all the street names. And this is where we're headed. Chung Chan Rice Hot Dog, it's really good. This is the inside. May I get, um, may I get number 14, please? Uh, 14? Yeah, the pepper jack. So I got the pepper jack hot dog and I haven't tried this one. I've only had a cheddar. And I thought it was so funny. I got my favorite number, 27, for my order number. I don't know, I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> So I have secured the goods. I'm gonna go across the street and thank you. Um, I'm gonna go across the street and sit down on a bench and enjoy the corn dog. I'm really excited. I haven't had this in like since like it was summer and I always talk about it. So I'm excited to have it again and share it with you. Okay, let's do a little taste test moment. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, I just finished eating and it was literally so good. The corn dog was so good. I demolished it. My hands are freezing. I kind of wish I had gloves on. That's okay. Right now, I am about to go into a Wajamaya, I think. I think I, think I will go in. I was originally just going to Daiso. But since I'm here, I think I'm gonna step in. So let's go. I just came into the bookstore that's in Awajamaya and look at how cute. I literally, oh, oh my God. And I really, I actually really want this, but I have no justification for it because I don't know what I would use with it, but it's only $16.99, like that's a pretty good price. I was literally obsessed with origami. I would make my, I would ask my parents for like birthdays and Christmases to just get me origami paper and origami books because I thought they were so pretty. to not buy things because <laughs> fun fact I'm like obsessed with I just love getting cute things I don't know but I'm about to go into Daiso which I did intend on spending money there so Daiso's right across the street too so that's really nice and we'll see what I get so this is what this Daiso location looks like just so you know Daiso and I went in there because I was I wanted to get like stationary stuff because I wanted to start like journaling again and I just find it so much fun when you get to like have the highlighters have the special pen the tape um, the washi tape but I was like no 
Maybe I'll, I'll wait until I actually start the habit, not buy things for a habit I want to start. Yeah, well, okay, does that make sense? Like, I want to actually start doing it and then be like, okay, yeah, now I should get it. You know what I mean? So instead, I got some ornaments for Garrett and I's Christmas tree because um, he got, we got the tree off Amazon and it hasn't delivered yet. But I got some ornaments at Daiso because they were only $1.50 and I was like, um, period. Like Target or something. Like I guarantee you it would be like easily like $5 for like a set of ornaments. Like at its cheapest. So I was like, that's a good buy. But now it's already starting to look like it's the sun is dimming down a little bit and it's only like 2 o'clock. So I'm going to rush to Capitol Hill because I want to take some pictures there. Capitol Hill is like really pretty and um, there's just a bunch of really great photo shoot locations. So I'm going to go to Capitol Hill, take some pictures, and then I think afterwards I want to go into the Glossier store because I actually haven't been to the Glossier location in Cap Hill. So I think we should go check that out. Taking the link, which is like our best form of public transportation, in my humble opinion, in Seattle, literally makes the world of difference. You don't have to park. Well, I don't have a car, so that's not really an issue for me, but it just makes it so much easier to get from place to place. And it literally, the link can take you all the way from Northgate slash University District down to SeaTac, which is like the big airport. So we do have a good link. I am walking right now to, um, where am I walking? Oh my gosh, to Glossier. That's where I'm going. I'm going to Glossier right now. I'm really excited. Hopefully I find somewhere cute around there that I can take my pictures because the sun is still shining and my outfit it's so cute! I just love it! So I really want to get some cute photos on Instagram for it. Hi guys! I just finished taking my pictures. I think they went well. I got a few different shots, but I'm about to be in front of Glossier and I'll bring you guys in with me. So free! anything in Glossier that I was like I need it or I can't leave without it so I came across the street and there's this really cute store and it's called Boogie Boys and I find out that it was it's Macklemore's like clothing brand and they have a like a little thrift store down here I think it's really cool I'll let you know I'll let you guys know if I find anything <laughs> The Boogie Boys. This is the sun, by the way. I just left there. I'm sorry. Okay. So I didn't find anything in there that was like really cool. Um, but I thought the atmosphere of the store was really unique. So I think that itself is worth going in there for. Um, but now it's I think around three, and I think I'm gonna go. I need to have a fully charged phone and because I've been on my phone all day um, vlogging and creating TikToks and shooting Instagram photos like it's been my phone battery has been a little strange. So I think right now I am going to walk back 
to the link station and head back to the university district and then go home and then I'll give you guys a Daiso haul. I didn't film on the link this time because I feel like I've been on it like literally four times already today. I'm like, you guys probably don't want to see it again. Also, there's like a weird man staring at me, which always makes me feel uncomfortable. And I'm like, ugh, yucky, yucky, yucky. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm trying to see where I am. Oh, okay, I know where I am. I am back in the university district and I'm currently walking in like one of the like more populated renowned parts of the university district if that makes sense um i'm about to be coming up Ooh, really cute cafe oh wait there's a really cute cafe mental note um it's called the ave well it's like called the ave but like the actual street name is the university way which makes sense because it's right by the school i showed you guys a little bit earlier but here it is again The, the really nice part is that there's an Urban Outfitters and a Target like five minutes away from my house. Just makes it so convenient. And the new light rail station also makes it really convenient to travel around. So if you are staying in the Seattle area, I 10 out of 10 recommend getting the like the little link pass. Um, it just makes transportation so much easier. Okay, besties, I'm home and I'm in my room right now. I wanted to give you guys a little Daiso haul before I plug in my phone um, because I really need her to charge. Let's do a little, a little Daiso haul. It also has my purse in it, oopsie. But I got mostly like, I, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I got mostly stuff for Garrett and I's Christmas tree. And so the first thing I got was a little mini wreath. I did not realize how short um, six feet was. Mm, that's okay, we'll make it work. And so we got that. Then I got these ornaments and everything was $1.50 because Daiso is a freaking queen. So I got silver gold and red and then Jordan and I talked about this but we wanted to get a um a star for a tree and this is like the first time I get to like really decorate a home for Christmas because my family and I never really did that and so I'm really excited it's gonna be so much fun and then the last thing the last thing I got was a colander because even though I am leaving in literally two weeks and Garrett already has a really nice colander. I mean, not really nice. He already has a colander, but it sucks washing produce without one. So I picked up a colander and it came with a second one, like a little, I don't know, that was cute. And so I think now I'm going to put all this away. I'm going to charge my phone. I need to email back some business emails before I leave tonight and then I'll bring you guys along with me and hopefully um if Cassie is comfortable like I would love for her to say hi to the vlog but if not I will at least show you guys where we end up going for dinner tonight I don't know if you can hear me but right now I am in an Italian restaurant because me and my friend is she, do you want to be in it? this is my friend Cassidy Oh my gosh, we used to live together in the summer and we are catching up and this is like nearby in the university district. Um, this is place is called Mama Molina's and they have 50% off happy hours. So we're here right now contemplating what to get. What are you feeling? I don't know. I'm between the pizza and the gnocchi. Like I think she should get I think she should get the gnocchi. I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get the pizza because I was gonna get the rigatoni, but I have a bunch of pasta at home actually, so I should probably get some pizza. We, I will update you once our food comes out. Okay, we got our meals. I also don't know if you can see me because it's very dimly lit, but I wanted to show you what we got. Um, I got the rigatoni bolognese. And then Cassie, what did you get? I got the sausage polenta, kind of switched it up. It looks really yummy. I'm excited. Oh my God. 
sad. I almost forgot to end the vlog. I didn't even get to show you guys. I don't know if I showed you the freaking dessert we had at the restaurant. It was amazing. It was a molten chocolate lava cake with vanilla ice cream. It was mm, so good. After that, uh, Cassidy and I, we walked back to my place and she had other plans for the evening. And my plans for the evening are just to be in bed. I had a wonderful day today. Today was actually so much fun. I like forget how much I like being outside of my room because I love the safety of being inside of my room, if that makes sense. But once I actually like was like, okay, no, like let's go out. I had a lot of fun. Um, and I maybe like next week I'll go like Westlake and downtown area so I can show you guys what that looks like too. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tagging along with me on my adventure. I had a blast and I hope you have a great evening, morning, day, whatever time of day it is when you are watching this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me for my journey. I love you. Bye!